Up next, we've got the Duke of Edinburgh Handicap. And this one's over one mile, six furlongs, four horses rated up to 90. We've got Lord Regent, the favoured for Jim Murray, Highland Gala, Martin Leedham, Woodborough, Jacko, James Shea, Yakuta, Pandora, Alex Ince, Huntress, Martin Leedham, How Many Drinks, Darren Thompson, Smug, Graham, Clutterbuck, Dirty Badger, Alex Ince, Mahab, Funshine, Derek Hinton, Dancerella Guest, Thomas Rogers, Nazalo, Ryan Costello, Erudite Alien, Ryan Costello, and Catherine Nini for Satyam. And they're off and running here in the Duke of Edinburgh. So one mile, six furlongs here to travel. Much further than the two previous sprint races we've just left behind here at Royal Ascot. And some of these trainers will be looking to get their first on the board for Royal Ascot. Catherine Nini just bursts out into this early lead. The grey horses, they start to swing right-handed. The rain continuing to pour down here at Ascot. And Catherine Nini looking to follow up on last week's win. Satyam has gone out into a lead of around six to seven lengths, if not more, over Lord Regent, the favourite for Jim Murray, who's heading up the chase and pack. Jim Murray looking to add to his tally here, not just for the season, but here at Royal Ascot in a rich vein of form, that stable. And that one's racing just on the inside of Highland Gala in the purple and white striped silks. Smug and Yakuta Pandora next in the field, just racing on the outside of that one. Mahab's fun shining behind those four over towards the rail in the pink and black silks of Derek Hinton. Uh, racing widest of all at the moment, we've got Dirty Badger and Huntress towards the rear of the field, the other grey horse, and the jockey just tucking that one in a little bit. Doesn't want it to be racing too wide and without any cover. And at the rear of the field, we've also got Erudite Eileen and Dancerella Guest. So they're swinging right-handed again into the final mile, going along the back straight. It's Catherine Nini that still has a good eight-length lead over Lord Regent, Highland Gala, Smug, Yakuta Pandora, all travelling really strongly and being ridden patiently. And behind this leader, Catherine Nini, who continues to lead the way. Uh, the pack starting to close perhaps there. Yep, Lord Regent starting to move forward, as is Yakuta to Pandora, Highland Gala still travelling strongly, as is Smug just in behind them, looking towards the rear of the field, and a few jockeys are now starting to uh, get uh, the, get the whip out and starting to push their horses along a little bit, and they're not making too much progress so far, but there is still quite a long way to go. We've got four and a half furlongs now. Catherine Nini still has the lead, but it's no longer eight lengths. It's more like one and a half lengths over Lord Regent. Highland Gala still moving forward smoothly for Martin Leedham on the rail there. And the inside of Yakuta Pandora. Uh, just behind those is Smoke, but hard at work. And then just looking for any coming out the pack. How many drinks is trying to get going? As is Erudite Eileen Woodborough Jackos trying to stay on from the rear of the field. I think you can forget about anything else with only two and a half furlongs to go as Catherine Nini is set for home and has extended the lead again over Lord Regent so maybe just took a breather uh, when those horses started to get close and then is now kicked for home again and the response has been a fantastic one from the grey Catherine Nini it's gone out and has a good five to six length advantage at least as we hit the furlong marker Lord Regent desperately trying to close and is now starting to close that gap and the jockey sitting motionless, uh, motionless on, the, it's on the second in the final half a furlong Catherine Nini but Lord Regent now picks that one off as we go towards the line and has been given a supremely confident ride to win the Duke of Edinburgh there for Jim Murray Catherine Nini great front running performance but just touched off in the second and uh, looking for a replay to confirm the nine runners behind that what a ride from the jockey on Lord Regent supremely confident riding an even money favourite in this handicap here at uh, Royal Ascot Catherine Nini couldn't follow up last week's win, settles for second for Satyam. Mahab Funshine ran on into third for Derek Hinton, Yakuta Pandora fourth for Alex Ince, and how many drinks for Darren Thompson completes your top five.